I heard two explosions. Before the ship had sunk, there was one explosion. I should say a matter of ten minutes before she went under. There was another explosion, but I could not say how long from one to the other. The lights went out after the second explosion, then she gradually sank down into the water very slowly. The stern was well up in the air when the bow was underneath. She went down bows first. I could see the stern, and then the stern went. I could hear a roaring, just like thunder. And then, as we gazed awestruck, she tilted slowly up, revolving apparently about a center of gravity just astern of midships, until she obtained a vertical upright position, and there she remained, motionless. As she swung up, her lights, which had shone without a flicker all night, went out suddenly, came on again for a single flash, then went out altogether. And as they did so, there came a noise, which many people wrongly, I think, have described as an explosion. It was partly a roar, partly a groan, partly a rattle, and partly a smash. And it was not a sudden roar, as an explosion would be. It went on successively for some seconds, possibly fifteen or twenty. It was prolonged, more like a roll and crash of thunder. When the noise was over, the Titanic was still upright like a column. We could now see her only as the stern, and some 150 feet of her stood outlined against the star-specked sky, looming black in the darkness. And in this position, she continued for some minutes, I think as much as five, but it may have been less. Then, first sinking back a little at the stern, I thought she slid forwards through the water, and dived slantingly down. The gradual submersion of the vessel forward increased, followed by an extinguishment of all the lights. We saw the vessel then clearly outlined as a great dark shadow on the water, probably at a distance of about a mile. Suddenly, while I was looking at the black outline of the steamer, I saw her stern rise high from the water and then the vessel was seen to completely disappear from sight, with startling rapidity. A series of loud explosions, uh, three or four in number, were then heard. We watched her like this for some time, and then suddenly she gave a plunge forward, and all the lights went out. Her stern went right up in the air. There were two or three explosions, and it appeared that the stern part came down again and righted itself. We could see the port lights go under, one by one, until there was an awful explosion of the boilers bursting. And then the ship seemed to break right down the middle, and after a bit go down. We saw her head sink until her stern was right out of the water with the propellers in the air. Then she broke in half, the weight of the half out of the water being too great a strain, I suppose. The after end sank down, down level with the water for a few moments, and then as the water rushed in it, it went down at an angle again and slid down gently beneath the waves. Just before she sank for good, all the lights went out. The stern rose high into the air and then, as the ship broke in two, the stern righted itself for a few seconds. And then the, the rattle and rumbling as if everything was rushing out of her was awful. Followed by the groans and screams of the drowning and the explosions of the boilers as the ships glided beneath the waves. 
When we were about half a mile away, the rowers rested on their oars, and we watched the Titanic, rolling and bobbing like a cork. All her lights were burning, and all over the water we caught the strains of Nearer My God to Thee. Finally, Titanic ceased rolling, seemed to hesitate a moment, and then plunged her bow into the ocean, and a moment later was engulfed by the waves. Several moments after she had disappeared, there was a terrific explosion which threw the water in a turmoil, and fragments of the ship were hurled high into the air. I suppose the boilers had exploded. When the big ship parted and the hulks drifted apart before going under, we all sat still, shivering and afraid. It was the most wonderful and at the same time awful thing I ever saw. The halves seemed to rise out of the water, gaming impotence for the great trip to the bottom 2,000 fathoms deep. <laughs>